Hi, welcome back to Odoo 16 Development Tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about Object Relational Mapping in Odoo 16. ORM is a concept or technique which acts as a bridge between the programming language and the database. Object Relational Mapping helps to execute SQL queries without writing them explicitly. In the case of Odoo, Odoo comes with well-structured ORM API which helps developers to interact with the database via some methods and operations. It starts from the crude methods, which are create, read, update, and delete. Major functions of model class in Odo are create, read, write, browse, and unlink. In the case of create method, it used to create a record in a model or table. Read method is used to read the field values of a record. And in the case of write method, write method is used to write field or column values to the record. And browse method is used to search for a particular record by its ID. And unlink method, we are using unlink method for delete function in Odo. Using unlink method, we can delete a particular record from a model. Some other major functions in Odo ORM are sorted, filtered, and mapped. In the case of sorted function, it helps to sort out a record set based on a given column name passed as its argument. We should pass the field name into sorted function as a string. We can pass two arguments into the sorted function. The first argument accepts a comparison key to check and the second argument accepts a boolean value to reverse the order of the sorted record set. Now let's go through an example. In this example, here I have this variable partners where I have searched for all the records in the table restore partner. I have used a search function to get all the records of the particular table. Since I haven't given any conditions inside the search function, it returns all the records. We can even set a domain inside the search function to search for a records based on condition. So here is an example for that case. Here, I have given a tuple inside the search function. This is how we give domain inside the search function. The first value inside the tuple will be a string of a field name inside the model. In this case, I am searching for the particular record whose ID is 1. The next value is an operator. We can use various operators here that uh, equal to, not equal to, less than or equal to, in, not, etc. The third one is the value we check for. Now let's come back to the sorted function. Here, as I have already mentioned, the first argument is a field name based on which field we need to sort out the records. That is the key. And the next argument is a boolean reverse. If reverse equal to true, it will return the record set in a reverse order after sorting the records according to the particular field we given. Here, in this case, we have all the partners inside the variable partners. So this line will be returning all the partners sorted out in a reverse order based on the records ID. Next one is filtered function. Filtered function helps to optimize and simplify the code by avoiding unwanted loops. Filtered function returns a set of records or record set which met the given condition on an ex existing record set. We can even use lambda functions along with the filter to filter out the required records. In the case of filtered, filtered and search have somewhat similar functionality that both of them gives out the record set after checking particular condition. Here, inside the supplier IDs, I'm searching for all the partners or partner records having a value inside the supplier rank field. And supplier rank and customer rank are two integer fields in the model restore partner. Its default value is a zero. So, in this case, here we use the lambda functions along with the filtered function uh, and partners contains all the records in the restore partner table. So it iterates through all the records and check if each one of the 
record has the has a proper value inside the field supplier rank and returns those records same goes for customer ids it checks which are all of the uh, partners having a proper value inside the field customer rank the next function is mapped mapped takes very important role in code optimization it returns a set of field values here if i need all the partners name in a list i can use the mapped function like this that is we have all the partners inside partners and if we want uh, all the partners name inside a list we can use the mapped function like this it will return all the possible values of name field from the table dress partner inside a list so basically orm makes operations in odo much simpler since we will not require many of sql queries to do database operations 